Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and today I'm going to be talking about a new mob coming to Minecraft. Uh, this is for the PC version, and the next update, it will of course be coming to Xbox 60 and the PS3 and all the next-gen consoles, uh, but it'll be about a year down the line because uh, the consoles are, of course, a little bit behind right now because of all Jabilis developing the other consoles. But it will be, you know, coming to the consoles eventually. So let's go right into it. Uh, this uh, news is coming mainly from the Jeb Twitter feed, and uh, let's go straight into the first tweet, which was big enough news by itself, and it said, I'm working on a new hostile mob. It it lives underwater. It's not a shock. It's going to be nasty, but currently doesn't do much. Um, so this is exciting because we haven't a new hostile mob in a while. And my first thought was like, okay, not a shark. How about a sea turtle? I have no idea why I thought sea turtle, but you think about it and it's like, um, imagine just, you know, hostile sea turtle just attacking you because you're in his water. Um, so then the next uh, tweets kind of made me think otherwise, because uh, then he says, The mob I'm working on has a ranged attack and kills squid as well as players, uh, which is pretty exciting by itself. And then on hard difficulty, a full diamond armor is recommended, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Then he extends the tweet and says, As well as a potion of water breathing, obviously. Having a helm with a respiration enchantment helps you see underwater too. So yeah, it's, that's so ridiculous when you think about it, the fact that there's going to be a mob that you need time and arm to kill, and it's going to be kind of like a boss mob, um, which is really, really exciting in my opinion, because uh, I have a whole bunch of ideas of what this could be. So my first idea, as I said, the sea turtle, uh, they could kind of make that happen with ranged attacks, but honestly, it's kind of far enough out there as it is, so... Um my next idea was like a pirate, like, uh, you know, like an underwater pirate, kind of like a pirate zombie type deal. So he stands underwater, he's a little more powerful than a zombie, and he can also fire his hook at you or something. Or maybe he has, uh, he, he couldn't really have a gun, of course, but he could have a bow, um, you know, be kind of a cross between a zombie and a skeleton. Because you've seen the, uh, with a skeleton, maybe they'll have, like, more of a zombie type skeleton, so a zombie with a bow. Uh, I think that'd be pretty interesting, to say the least. Um... My final idea is maybe it's something weird, like it's a dolphin, but it somehow fires water at you and the water does damage. Uh, again, it doesn't make a whole bunch of sense in the water. I'm excited for whatever they can do with this, because, again, I, I've been seeing lots of other people's suggestions, and none of them really feel like they fit entirely, like, um... Nothing just makes you think, oh, this is the perfect one. Like, my pirate suggestion, I think, I, I like it a lot, I haven't seen anyone else do that. I think that fits just fine, but... Uh, you know, again, Minecraft's wacky, I like that. Uh, so finally, we have a couple more pieces of news that are vaguely rated, and that is, Phew, almost done the new water dungeon, items and mob. Uh, so that's the mob he's talking about, uh, and he's announced that they're coming in water dungeons, which is really cool, because I think underwater right now really is an underexplored area. Like, you have night vision potions, so you can explore them, but there really isn't any need to in a survival world. So I think having the ability to, you know, find, like, an underwater water temple that has rare loot uh, really adds some more late games to the game, and that's something I really think Minecraft, you know, kind of needs. Uh, it, was, it already has the wither, it has the inner dragon, but having more stuff to go search for and, you know, find because you need the rare blocks is going to be really cool. Um, also, this other tweet hints that I think this is highly related. It might be either to help fight the boss or it might be from the water dungeon chest because uh, Jeb also tweets out saying um, the new sp uh, sponge block behavior and texture uh, with this little video and... Basically, now the sponge block will probably be in survival, and it can also be used to actually soak up water. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this mob. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, it won't be next for a while, but it's still, you know, an exciting idea. Um, let me know if you guys uh, want to see the latest PC news when it's something as big as this, because I can continue to do it. Because, you know, PC version is, of course, where the console gets its eventual ideas from. Um, please do be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. L please let me know what your suggestion is, because I have no idea, personally. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to say it's hard to say so yeah thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you in another video which I'm doing a lot of recently so I hope you enjoyed that so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye